dude, no COVID dick. No. Going, none. No. no. God damn, you not I ready mean, to you not ready to get the dust knocked off it yet? Not yet. Yeah. No, I'm not. I mean, again, the moments of desperation, there's you know, there's tools for me. So thank God this happened in twenty twenty and not nineteen. You didn't come off we didn't, you didn't get weak one time, just you know, just some COVID knocked um, down. I think I from a past lover, maybe, but not. I say lover. Oh, so like, like oh, you just dipping back in the cabinet, like. Yeah, I would probably go to a guy that I've already hooked up with versus a new guy. I just like my trust. I don't know. Yeah, now, is that because of trust sexually or trust COVID wise? You're like, ah, that guy seemed pretty <laughs> clean. It Come takes. On. I feel like men look at women that are attractive and like, oh yeah, I want to fuck her. And I, I don't really. And maybe I'm speaking just for myself, not all women. No, I, I never I say that. Bear, well, you know. I, I, I'm gonna say it. Not Dante, <laughs> but I don't look at an attractive man and say I want to fuck him. I say like I want him to flirt with me. I want him to take me on a date. I, I just it takes me a while to want to like fuck someone. You like a crock pot. You like a slow simmer. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Very few men on, have I seen. Yeah, exactly. Do you, do you think that's common amongst women, or are you an outlier in that situation, Amanda? I think it might be common in the terms of like I think when men see. All, any attractive woman they think sex and I think when women see an attractive men they don't they only see sex in certain men not all men not every attractive yeah, man. that's what I think. The first I part. think I think yeah and the men don't we don't it's a lot it's, really, it's, it's a, not just attractive it's a women. lot of chicks we be like <laughs> nah <laughs> No. I done looked at some shit where I'm like we got a lot of chicks what are you on doing? the show where we was like nah good Really? I don't quote myself. Oh, Hold yeah. on. What, what Andre is saying is that it goes even with with unattractive women. You think about it sexually, <laughs> like as if a man. And, I, and I'm, I think I'm, ass I'm friend, but her titties big. Yeah. I'd be like, uh -oh, I'm with Andre. Where you look at a woman, you go, I don't like all of that, but I could work with that. It's like if if I was trapped on an island, or if like, could I make Fam, that work if I had to survive? That's how most women look to me. It, it's like <sighs> most women. Got something you could work with. Yeah, but son, you, I think that's just youth. Cause I'm like, now I'm like, oh, here go this bitch with the big knees again. <laughs> I can't fuck. That's a possibility. But also, cause one thing I do could, dis one like thing could disqualify you. Like, there's one thing that could disqualify you, just like you'd be like, this is something I could work with. There's, I'll be like, yo, she, I keep talking. I don't know why, Harry, why I keep going back to that chick with the big knees. Yeah, that's come up a couple times. That seems to be haunting you as of recent. Did that happen over the holidays? Is that what it is? Every it's just, October? It's just, it's just something that I always stayed. That was a real thing. I tell you, it was a real thing. It was a girl with giant knees. She had on like thigh highs and it looked like she had uh like you know what I wonder volleyball bro? pads, knee pads under the thigh highs. What's the quality of her meniscus? <laughs> Does her having big ass knees imbue her with better tendons? Mm -hmm. Can she can she be like squatting at 98? Is she gonna be walking it's, up? She can squat saying? in the bucket. Son. That's what I'm thinking. Like, does her big ass knees serve a purpose? You know what I mean? Probably. You ever heard the, the, the philosophy within the design you denote the purpose? Maybe she was born to do some thick knee shit and she hasn't found it yet. Well, I mean, but that's what you would say back in the days in the Renaissance period where you had like a buxom, buxom chick and you was like because dudes were starving. They were like, oh, she she could carry water, you, son. She could carry so maybe, a lot of water. Maybe she has just lived past her time. Her era was probably the 1700s. Where it was mad thick knee activity going on. She's like she a raptor. She's like a, you know what I'm saying? She could have been raptor. back she, in the day. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm saying it might be the, the big knee era. I don't know. It might have been. We should look well, into that, do some research. Uh, I'm sure Charles Darwin <laughs> has some evolution about what chicken knees <laughs> Fuck Darwin. do. Uh, but... <laughs> I don't even know why fuck Darwin. I'm going to get back to Yo, the son, that's that's fighting words. Don't diss <laughs> Darwin. Bro. Darwin's the shit, bro. Darwin's the shit. Fuck Darwin. Oh, boy. This is, you got to rep your set. Listen, Dante. You My set black than a motherfucker. <laughs> fuck Darwin. You man school. 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.